Thanks to Malone upsetting top seed Lake Superior State on Tuesday night, the Finley Oilers will play host to this weekend's GLIAC Final Four. Led by Conference Player of the Year Greg Colling, Oilers play Walsh today. Cavs and Finley tied for the South Division title. Interestingly, the road team won both of the regular season meetings between the two. Charlie Ernst getting his starters fired up for round three versus the Cavs. Oilers come out strong. Jake Hegan to Greg Colling, Fort Recovery grad, knocks down the three. Finley up 11-5, Collig certainly feeling it, and Big Vanilla 32 just getting started. Step back, hashtag eyes, it flies at three is good. Home team up 29-7. The run continues. Collig again from behind the arc. Again, it's nothing but net. Oilers on a 24-4 run to take control. Later in the half, John Staley to the cutting Dylan Coffin. Throws it down. Coffin 15 on the game. End of the half, of course, Finley's going to the Gleak Player of the Year. Collig hits another three. Colleague with 36 points in the first half. Walsh only had 37 points in the first half. Only question in the second half, how many would he finish with? Try a GLIAC tournament record, 55 points. 10 threes, a Finley record. He's the first Oiler to top 50 since Randy Quartercracks in the mid-80s as Finley wins 104-74. Fourth time in the last six games, Colleague has scored 39 or more. Oilers will play for the GLIAC tourney title tomorrow afternoon against Michigan Tech. As defense, the quick start, and Greg Collin combined for an easy win. Just guys finding me in open spots and just seeing the ball go in as a shooter. Uh, when balls go in, uh, it gets you kind of in a rhythm. And uh, right now I'm in a rhythm, and that's a testament to the guys we have, uh, finding me in open spots and uh, just thanking God the shots are falling right now. And uh, just a great team win today, and I couldn't be happier for us. You can't ever dream of being in a zone like that. It just, I just thank God the shots fell today. And just glad we got the win. That was the big thing today. We wanted to come out and make a statement, uh, especially defensively, and I think we did that today. Well, you know, I've spent all season trying to find new adjectives to describe Greg Collins on the offensive end but you know tonight given the stage tells you just how special he is because a lot of guys score on nights that maybe don't mean quite as much but to score 55 points in a game you know with so much on the line uh, is, was just an amazing performance but you know I'm proud of our entire team we set the tone on this game in the first five minutes it was a combination of making shots but more importantly defending them